Hi everyone, this is Sig Suarez and welcome to another episode of Watch Manila. Recently, you've seen in one of my videos that I have purchased an IWC Mark 20 in a white or silver dial. That is now my new daily watch. But that doesn't mean that I've lost love for the Rolex Explorer. And today, we are going to take a look at the Rolex Explorer reference 124270 or the new 36mm Rolex Explorer. But before we go any further, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Watch Manila channel, and follow us on Instagram at watch underscore MNL. Now let's go to the big question. What's the difference? If you can take a look, this is the 114270 produced in the 2000s. This is the 214270 39mm produced in the 2010s. And this is the 124270 which started production in 2021. But if you take a look at the watches, they look pretty much identical to each other. That if you don't have these watches together, you wouldn't be able to spot the difference. And even if you have them together, from afar, they would look pretty similar to each other. So now, let's go with the two most similar watches. The two 36mm watches. Which one here is the new Rolex Explorer and which one is the older Rolex Explorer? It will take you some time to see the difference, but we'll go through it quickly. Now with the new watch, we take a look at the most visible difference. We now have this new clasp from Rolex as opposed to this old clasp for the older model. And after that, it's hard to spot the difference. But we see that the font is larger, everything is larger here. It's like you click the whole dial and you put it on bold. So everything is much bigger, visibly. You have a better luminous material on this one, which I will show you. And other than that, it's pretty hard to tell, but let me share with you. I did measure the lugs for this one. So the lug width for this one, the old one, is 20 mm so you have a bracelet which is 20 and goes down to 15.5 mm and for the new rolex explorer you have a lug width of 19 which goes down to 14 mm and there's another thing which a lot of people may not have noticed the bezel size for the new rolex watch is now at 3 mm and the bezel size for the old Rolex watch is at 2.5 mm. And after boring me with these figures, the overall effect is that the new watch is more proportioned than the older watch. If you don't have the comparison, you wouldn't notice. But if you look at it side by side, you still wouldn't notice. But then again, I'm telling you the difference because I did the measurements and after wearing this watch for a long period of time, you will understand what I mean by a more proportioned figure. And this is similar to what they did to the 41mm Submariner where they adjusted the sizes of the lugs, the lug width, and these things. So Rolex just really goes to research on how to make something nice even better. Now, other than that, another difference which I saw is the thickness. This is around 11.6 mm, the new one, and the old one is around 11.1. So there's really that 0.5 mm thickness, which is visible. It's surprisingly visible if you take a look at it. But that is not bothersome because this is only 36 mm and it still wears perfect on the wrist. Now to add to the things which I mentioned, of course, the 124270 or the 2021 model 
has that Rolex Easy Link extension, where, where it gives you an additional 5 mm. So you can put it back here, that Easy Link. And that is where I like the IWC Mark 20 better, because you can precisely adjust the bracelet of the IWC to the configuration which you like the best. Now, as to the other details, of course, internally you have a better movement. This one has the caliber 3130, which is around 48 hours of power reserve. This one has the caliber 3230, which now has a 70 hour power reserve. So, other than those which I've mentioned, I'm not sure if there is any other difference. So if you know of any other difference, please comment it down below. Now quickly, let's go to a comparison with the 214270, the 39mm, and this 124270, the 36mm 2021 model. Now if you will take a look, this is the Mark I version of the 39mm, which has white gold applied numerals here at 3, 6, and 9 and the shorter hands you also have the easy link extension here the new clasp so aside from the size you also have a better caliber with a new one and this one still has something like around 48 hours of power reserve and the bezel thickness here which is 3 mm is actually the same as the bezel thickness in the new 36mm which is 3mm and I must say that that 3mm bezel thickness is much better than the 2.5mm bezel thickness which can be found here in the older 36mm. The 39mm is actually a nice size. I like that size and, and if you take a look at it you also have a 39mm which is thinner than this new 36mm. So other than those differences, I couldn't see any other difference with that one. Now, let's go back to this 124270. This 124270 is really a great watch. For the past few months, I haven't been wearing my other watches except for the Mark 20. And I must say when I started wearing the 36 again, and when I started looking at the other explorers, it took a while to get myself accustomed back to 36. Many have said that the 40mm on the Mark 20 looks a little big, and that one is that acceptable bigness for me. It's not a Panerai big, but it's an acceptable 40mm big for me. But when I saw this watch again on my wrist, it took me a while to get accustomed to it. But after wearing it for a while, I realized that the 36mm is still a great size. But what I also realized is that the 36mm is also now perfect for both men and ladies size. So. It's now that perfect meet-up point wherein you have a lady who is sporty and who prefers to wear this watch. It's just perfect. You have a male guy who is not too big and who prefers the watches on the smaller side. This is perfect. So wearing it and feeling it again, it just lands perfectly on my wrist. So it's beautiful. Let's go to the design. The design, there's nothing wrong with it. The Rolex Explorer has been one of my most favorite watches in the entire universe. In fact, I made the case before in saying that the Rolex Explorer can be your one watch collection. You can have a suit and wear the Rolex Explorer you can go to the beach and wear the Rolex Explorer and it's just perfect for any occasion. 
it has that perfect amount of sportiness while having that perfect amount of refinement, elegance, and beauty. So this Rolex watch is perfect as a daily companion. You have an attire, you just pick it up and you wear it. And it's just beautiful from all angles. You can do whatever you want with it. In fact, it's also guaranteed 100 meters for water, which I don't think anyone would actually wear that deep. So if you wanna go swimming and do your activities, outdoor activities, you can use this watch. For the price of this watch, this is actually fairly priced if you can get it SRP. I also want to take a look at the 40mm to see if it's actually similar or if it's actually better because based on the images, it's much more proportioned than the 39mm. That I have to see. Now for my overall conclusion of this watch, this watch is still great. It's still one of the best one watch collection watches which you can buy. This watch can accompany you from the start to the end and you can pass this down to the next generation. So this watch will continue to accompany me throughout the years and I will make sure that the Rolex Explorer maintains a spot in my rotation. If you can get this watch on retail, you should buy it because you can sell all of your other watches and retain this one and you will be good for the rest of your life. It's that good, it's that beautiful, and it's that easy to wear. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can join me in my next episode. This has been Sig Suarez and continue to join me, watch the watches.